Matt Staver is a conservative Christian and an anti-gay activist, and he recently spoke at a Tea Party meeting in Orlando, Florida, where he compared gay rights to the Holocaust. But as an officer of the court, I'm an officer first of my risen Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I'm not waiting for a morsel or crumb to fall from the table of this wisdom machine up in Washington, D.C. <laughs> And I don't have to wait for five or so people to tell me what's the Constitution allegedly say about the issue of marriage. Um, I know from the natural created order God made male and female, mom and dad, husbands and wives, as the first foundation of family. And I don't care whether it's a nine to zero or whatever, to zero, whatever decision it is, they can't change that and they won't change that. And if they come out with a decision that is contrary to God's natural created order, I personally will advocate disobedience to it. I will advocate disobedience to it, and collectively, we cannot respect that as the rule of law. When Martin Luther King Jr. was in the Birmingham jail, he wrote the letter from the Birmingham jail. They, some of the pastors said, Martin, uh, why do you obey some laws and not others? He goes, well, there's two kinds of laws. There's just laws. Those are earthly laws that are in conformance with God's law. You've got to obey those. There's unjust laws. Those are earthly laws that are contrary to God's law. You have a duty to disobey. Now, you also have to be ready to pay the consequences because the civil government wrath is going to be poured out on you. But as a believer, you cannot obey something that's contrary to God's law. You know, and, and we would easily say, well, what would happen if the government forced you to turn over a Jew in Nazi Germany? Well, all of us would say, yeah, you know, we, we wouldn't do that. We wouldn't, we wouldn't listen to that. Well, you know, we're, we're about ready to walk into that moment. Because gays are starting to get some basic rights. He's saying, well, this is like Nazi Germany. We're about to walk into that moment. This is like the Holocaust. You're comparing the Holocaust to gay equality? Every day they find a way to get lower, 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 and lower. Uh, did you know that there are conservative Christians in America who went to areas in Africa, countries in Africa, and they pushed for laws that kill gay people. Did you know that? They can't, see, they, they largely lost the battle here with the most draconian laws, like jailing gay people or killing gay people. They're not gonna win that battle here anymore. So what are they doing? They're going to Africa and they're pushing for these things. Okay, these are just bad people, man. And you heard him at the beginning, he said, as an officer of the court, I'm an officer first and foremost of my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. You should be fired from whatever fucking legal position you have, whether you're a lawyer or whatever the fuck it is, you should be fired. Because that is exactly the opposite of what the Founding Fathers said and wanted and laid out in the Constitution. If we are a Christian nation, as guys like this argue all the time, why didn't they say it? How many times in the Constitution do they bring up Christianity? Zero. How many times do they bring up Jesus Christ? Zero. How many times do they say the word God? Zero. The only time they bring up religion is in the First Amendment to say the government cannot establish one. That's the Establishment Clause. But this guy flips it on its head. He's like, no, no, no. This is what we're supposed to do. As somebody who's involved with the legal system, I answer first and foremost to Jesus Christ. Imagine if in America somebody said that about Allah. Somebody said that about the Quran. I answer first and foremost to the Quran, the holy law. How would uh, Americans react? Oh my God, no, now I want separation of church and state. But then when it's their religion, like, no, that one rock and roll. We're all, we're all go on that one right there. And then again, there's the irony and the stupidity that they don't realize that they actually agree with each other quite a bit. But in the mind of a fundamentalist Christian, she's like, oh, they have darker skin? Okay, let's not agree with them on anything. And then they proceed to agree with them on everything. Do you think he understands that he's a tremendous hypocrite? Because the Bible, specifically in the Old Testament, because that's where all the gay hate is, it also bans haircuts. He's clearly gotten his haircut, and he does it on a regular basis. The Bible bans shaving your face. This guy has clearly done that, and it looks like he does it every day. The Bible bans eating any kind of shellfish. 
So if this guy's really being biblically correct, not only would he be super anti-gay, he would also be marching uh, to shut down all barbershops and salons in America. Funny how he's not, he doesn't care as much about that. He would also be fighting to put Gillette out of business because Gillette sells the razors that you shave your face with. You know, shut down the company to Barbasol with their shaving cream because not allowing shaving. Because we believe in the Bible. You'd be protesting in front of the fish market. You'd be protesting virtually all clothing companies because in the Bible, they ban, a, you can't wear a mix of fabrics because that's not pure. That's an abomination in the eyes of God. So why are you not protesting in front of all the various uh, clothing stores out there? You're not doing that because you don't even really know everything that's in the holy book, which you pretend to live your life based off of. What you are is a deeply prejudiced, bigoted, intolerant person who has your own issues with your own sexuality and you're externalizing an internal struggle. So that's why you only focus on gay rights and you're so concerned about it, and you do something as dumb as you compare it to Nazi Germany. No, no. If anybody is more close to that ideology, it's not people advocating for gay rights, which is equality. It's the people arguing for inequality. You.